so we have that done let me display the content again here so i'll say ls rocker so we are going to visualize so we will visualize by feeding jbras with this file and then the gff file okay so these are the sequences that were annotated okay so we have the sequences and then the features are here so we just load jbrowse and then load this there we will open jbrowse and then load this first into it and then look at the annotations it's going to be very cool so stay tuned perfect so now that we have everything we need let's open jbrowse okay so to open jbrowse i'll say dot slash jbrowse and then i'll execute the command Okay, jbrowse has been opened. Let's enlarge it. Okay, nice. Now what we are going to do is to load our files. Okay, we are going to load the FNA file and then the GFF file. Okay, both files were generated by Proca. So to load files or to open sequence files, come to the left side here. And then you see this button, open sequence files. So click it. And then you'll be given this window. So here you have to give a name, assembly name. Okay, so just try and then give a name. I will use the accession ID for our data. Let me just check. Yeah, it's somewhere here. I'll just copy and then paste that. So let's check. Yeah, there's it. So I'll just copy and paste. Or you can give it any name that you want that's also fine so this is it okay we also have assembly display name this is optional so i'll leave it now when we come here we are going to load the first a file first okay so ours is not indexed so we will click this and then select first a adapter and then when we come here we will make sure we click on file and then we'll click on this button here choose file so click this one the choose file button click it and then search for the fast file so the file we are going to open is in the annotation directory this one here okay the directory generated by proca so click it and then open it and then search for the dot fna file this one this one here so you can click and open or you can double click any of them should be fine so that will open the file for us so once you do that you come to submit okay and then click it and then you'll be given this window so when you are here make sure the option selected here is linear genome view there are other options but choose the linear genome view that's what we are going to use and then click on launch view click on launch view and then you will be given this window so when you are here click on open and then you have this okay so at the moment we have not loaded any tracks okay no tracks are active and so what we are going to do is to click on the open track selector this one here so click it and then you'll be shown this window okay so what you are going to do is to select the tracks that we want to display at the moment we have loaded the first a file that sequence so you can click it okay by selecting so we just check it that's what we have to do so click to select it and then the name will appear on the left side here okay that's what we have so you can just drag it left and right but we are not done we only loaded the first a file we need to also add the annotation what we loaded is just the sequence we need to add the features okay we need to add the features so on this same window this side here come to the bottom the lower part and you will see this plus button here so click it and then select add track and once you do that you have this coming up so Make sure you click on file first because we are going to load a file. 
and then click on choose file we are using the main file here so click on file and then click on choose file the button here and then select your gff file which is this one here the dot gff this one so open it and then go to next So when you click on next you have this so here you leave everything as it is and then scroll down and then you will see this okay so this one we will leave them as it is okay so just click on add and once you click on add you will find this appearing okay you find this appearing now let's minimize this one here we can even close it that's fine so just click on the close close them we can always open them back it's fine so once you do that you have your annotation okay so you can drag left and right and then check what you have okay that's what we have so this one you will see that the names are covering some parts so you can just drag to the right a bit to see everything here okay and you also check this one here so what we have here is what node one you can also see it here so the node one that's this quantic by the way you know remember when we check the number of quantics in the assembly file the scaffolds of us we got two sequences so it's in the node one that has been annotated that's what we see them here okay so that's what we have so let's also go back to the original tool there are some statements there which i think you should also um, look at so let's get back and then scroll down to the visualization parts which is this one here so when you are here it makes this statement it says all the arrows point in the same direction to indicate that the genes are all found on the same strand of the genome this makes sense because we are dealing with a size of 2 data and this is an RNA virus meaning that its genome sequence has only one strand okay so it also tells us that it should have been a bad sign if some of the genes were pointing in the opposite direction but so far everything we have points to the same direction which is good let's just confirm let's get back to our window so you can check the arrows so this is one this is one. We also see one here. So we see all of them are pointing to the same direction. So that is what that statement was referring to. Okay, so because we are dealing with an RNA virus which um, is single stranded, that is why we should see that all the arrows are pointing to the same direction. So what we have here is good. The tutorial also makes another statement which we should check. Let's go back here. It also says that you can click on the genes to obtain information about the lengths and what database they were found to be similar to. Okay, so for example, if we click on the first protein, the name has been given here, you will find that it was found to be similar to the protein with Uniprot ID this. Okay, so this means that let's get back and check first. So that's what we have here. So it's when we click it, we are going to find this coming up. And then you can check the statement. So we have the name, length, type CDS, etc. But this is what the tutorial is referring to. It says it's similar to A sequence, Uniprot, KB, this one. So and we have the ID here. So once you see this, you can look up that protein and find out more information about that okay because the id has been given here or the session number okay so the tutorial page gives us the link and so you can just click it to open it i think i have it open here by the way yeah so you can click to open it and there's a page so when we are here you can read more about that particular protein okay that's what this statement is telling us okay so once you have that information it's it makes things easier for you because at the end of the day you are annotating so we also need to find out 
more about the proteins okay maybe you have some proteins you are interested in so once you have those statements coming up then it's important you look them up and that is what we have just done here okay so this is what we have 